Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, courtesy of Sunnyside Acura in Nashua, New Hampshire, we have the 2022 Acura Integra. This one is the A spec with tech, six speed manual, and an absolutely killer spec. Illuminated kick plates, real carbon wing. Real carbon mirror caps. I mean, look at these seats. Let's see here. No, it's in here. There you are. ELS Studio 3D sound system. Absolutely phenomenal. Liquid carbon metallic. 37.39. Yeah, you can't beat that. 200 horsepower, 1.5 turbo, VTEC, of course, six speed manual with automatic rev matching, um, Heldic LSD up front. Yeah, this is absolute active dampers, yep. Yeah. Jeez, this price point, active dampers, really? I mean, come on. Wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which honestly there's some cars that have their $80,000 without wireless Android Auto. Heck, the Rivian I just drove doesn't even have CarPlay or Android Auto, wired or not. Look at this. Absolute butter. Plates blocking it, don't worry about that. Also have conical rear, rear exhaust. So right by the tip, it goes in and does like a little loop. And I think you'll understand why once we start driving. It's about sound and tone. First of all, burbles. This has them. Not sure if the camera will really. Not sure if the camera will pick up the burbles. Hope it does. But they're very, very deep. They're like blah 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 blah. It's not like a fish blowing bubbles. Now, underneath, platform-wise, you're going to be very, very similar to the new Civic Si. And that is not an insult. I have yet to try an Si, but I think you'll tell the interior is pretty similar, especially these vents. Do have auto rev match. I am very impressed. In terms of power, I should say torque. Torque is very much down low from like 2,000 RPM to 5. That's your peak torque. It's almost the opposite of the original Integra and NA VTEC engines where you had to absolutely wring the crap out of them to really make them come alive. This one's alive at 1,800 RPM.
just dailying a stick shift. feel is phenomenal. And you'll notice too, look at the lane lines in the display. They follow the actual road. It's crazy. I've never, I've never noticed, I've never seen Lane lines follow like the curve and everything. That is cool. Well, that's because cruise control was on. Ah, I see. This gearbox has no right to be this good. That is probably one of the best manual gearboxes I've driven to date. I mean, I'm talking about this rivals some real expensive gearboxes. go on for a while most are time to do like two or three little burbles it's still burbling now it stopped put a set of pipes on this you can have some nice cracks and pops I think you have to look at this with a fresh set of eyes. I mean, actually, I don't know. This isn't as big of a departure from the original as the new NSX is. However, they are very, very much the same concept. I'm talking about the new NSX and this. They are taking cars that Acura produced in the 90s and doing exactly what they did in the 90s. In terms of the NSX, you're bringing hypercar performance, hyper and super supercar performance to an affordable, affordable price point and reliable vehicle that you can drive every day. The original Integra was designed to be a cheap, very fun, driver-focused commuter car. 
And what is this? A cheap, driver-focused, very fun commuter car. I will wrap up this review by saying anytime I see one of these on the road, I will absolutely smile because it is that good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.